Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com and it's that time of the week where we share the best tweaks of the week. We do these every Sunday, so be sure to drop in. So let's go ahead and get started with our first one. Here's what opening ProTube 2 looks like inside Cydia. And of course it is free and it's compatible with iOS 5 and above. And you will need open, I'm sorry, ProTube in order to use this tweak, of course. And ProTube is this little uh, YouTube app here that's got the little, like the little hexagon, I think that is, two, four, six, yeah. Um, right here in the center, you see the one I'm wiggling and out right there. That's ProTube. That's a pretty awesome YouTube uh, app. If you've never used it, you need to check it out. I did a review on it in a Top Apps video I did not too long ago. So what this does over in ProTube 2 it just opens your links in ProTube rather than using Safari. So let me give you an example here. I've already got one set up. Here's, we're going to go to Simpler Photos uh, inside iPhoneCaptain.com, of course. And right here, I have a link. Uh, the jailbreak word is linked to a YouTube video. So if we tap that, you'll see it switch from Safari over to ProTube and begin playing that video for you guys. So that's called Open in ProTube, and it's a really awesome tweak, one you definitely need to check. First GIF, I always want to say it backwards, seem like first GIF, right here it is, $1.49 in Big Boss Repo, and it's by Alexander Loris, looks like, something like that, Alexandra. Anyway, guys, this is a pretty awesome tweak. If you are one that likes to share GIFs on social media or anything like that, this is going to be a tweak that you're going to probably go to quite often and what it does is you first thing you need to do is take a group of first photos now I'm gonna open my camera up here and just show you a few things around here the simplest way to take burst photos is just hold down and you heard it took eight photographs you saw the little number eight pop up on the screen just hold down the photo button and it will take burst mode for you okay there's other ways of doing it but that's the simplest way I'm going to show you here and once you have your tweak installed and you have taken a group of burst mode then you can open up your photos here and in here you'll the burst uh, will actually stand out and the way they stand out is they're stacked on top of each other if you notice here my little dog here once the one where she squatted right there that is a burst mode and so is this one you see this one has 30 photos in it and the one before it only has three so that you know shows that I held the button down a lot longer in the second one but when you want to put a gift together you just open up your burst stack and you tap the select button and you see down here at the bottom if you want to get an idea of what your gift will look like you can sort of flip through here a little bit faster than normal to get a sense and it you'll see the different poses that's going to be included and if there's one in there you don't want to include just don't check it but the bad news is if you take a hundred photo, uh, photos with your burst mode then you're going to have to check each one of these by hand in here now personally I think that's something the developer needs to add is a way to check off all of these at one time and then uncheck the ones you don't want that would be much much faster and you see up there at the top it keeps count the number of photos that are selected and once you select what you want you just tap done and then you're going to get this pop up here and it's going to ask you if you want to export a gif and of course you're going to want to do that if you're using this and here's the next important thing is your speed your frames per second now if you get this astronomically fast you're not going to be able to see anything so I would try to keep it at least down to you know five around let's say four to eight or ten photos per second at the most so in this photo in this selection here you see I have 12 so let's tap done and we'll tap export and 12 divided by 3 would be 4 frames in 3 seconds 
So that's how that's going to be. See, my, my GIF would be three seconds long with four frames in each second. So that wouldn't be too bad. And then I could name this one my dog. I've, I've got her name several times. And then I'm also going to save, select it to camera roll. And also, if you want to keep your burst sequence, you can flip this one on too and just tap export. And it'll process those just about that fast. Now, if we go back into our photos, you're going to see down here at the bottom, shade 4, that's the one we just did. So it's very easy to find your GIF once you do it. Now, here comes the bad news, though. Unless you already have another tweak installed called GIF Viewer, you're not going to be able to even see what you have put together until you put it on the web. Now, once you export it to the web or your computer or something like that, then they can read the GIF for you. But I strongly recommend getting a tweak called GIF Viewer. It's 99 cents, so it's going to cost you another buck to get this particular tweak here. And guys, I don't get a penny for you buying these, so don't think I've got some kind of connection with these guys. Here's what GIF Viewer looks like, and you have to have this in order to view that like I was just viewing it. But if you if that's no big deal to you, don't worry about viewing it. Just put it on the web or share it or your computer or wherever you want, email it and you can read it right on your computer just like I was just doing right there earlier. But this is what they look like. Right here's one you just saw. Here's one here's a, a few others that I put together earlier. The next uh, one we're looking at is called Power Informer. This actually will give you updates on your battery when it reaches a certain level. You'll get an alert on your screen, and I have mine starting at 30%. So when it goes below 30%, I'll get a battery alert that says, Charge Me Dummy. So I was the one that put that in there, of course. And you can have it say whatever you want on any of those custom strings listed there. You can change those to be whatever you want. You can have your alert start at any level as well as increments to be alerted by. I have that turned on 1% for the for this video purpose, but normal would be probably like 10 or 5% or something like that. Called Power Informer. Now the next one we're gonna to go to here is called PM Really. How many times have you set your alarm for 7 a.m. but you actually set it for 7 p.m.? Well, if that's the case, if you go in here to set an alarm and you want to get up, say, say you want to get up in the morning at, at 6.28 or say 6.30. If I hit save, okay, now it's saying, do you really mean to set this alarm for PM? And I don't, so I tap no, and then I can come in here and change it to AM, and that will catch that, and you won't oversleep that way. Very awesome little tweak to have. Dim will actually let you turn your dimness down even lower than what iOS allows. So that's what this tweak does. If you go in here to your settings and go to dim and turn it on, you see it automatically goes a lot lower. And you can set that right here to be however low you want it to go. So we'll put it somewhere right in the middle. And you can actually enable and disable this with an activator. And I have triple press, enable, and then just touch the uh, touch ID button to turn it off. So you saw how easy it comes and it goes. So there it is enabled, and there it is off. So if we enable it, you see if we go in here and open up our brightness controls, you see you can turn it way, way down to almost black dark okay so it's really a cool tweak guys and one I guess you can use if you do a lot of nighttime reading so check it out don't forget guys if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button share the video it really helps and keep it